these guys use it out in the field. They carry it around, they throw it in the back of the truck, they put it on the tripod, they bang it around. It's designed to take it. Totally dustproof, totally waterproof, and you can submerge it. Hey, what's happening? Barnaby here, hanging out at the Leica booth for a manufacturer show-off about the Rugby 840. Now, this is interesting because we've come to the world of concrete 2013 because this is just being introduced. And Dan, thanks for having us by the booth, man. Thanks so much for being here. The value of the manufacturer show-off is, you know, we'll put this tool into the hand of a real user and get the unbiased review, but we'd love to hear from the people that kind of came up with the tool to figure out what it's capable of, who it's intended for, and my first question, because it's got the name Rugby in it, what's that all about? Well, the Rugby, just like the name implies, it stands for the ruggedness, reliability. The sport of rugby is tough and rugged. Uh -huh. This thing is designed to be on the construction site where it is tough and rugged. Waterproof, dustproof, kick it around, doesn't matter. We came up with the name Rugby because it is a solid, rugged unit. Okay, well, we're going to get into some of the torture testing that you've done with it, but let's uh, talk about the capabilities because people, when they look at a tool like this, they go, what's that going to do for me, right? The primary thing that you're going to get out of this particular model is that it's a versatile unit. Uh -huh. You're going to get elevation control yep. for a flat plane in 360 degrees, sure. like you see it here. You also get a plumb beam that's going to come up, so if you didn't do any plumbing, yep. and you can lay it on its side like such. And then you'll get a rotational beam in this direction here, and also a plumb beam coming out the front, so we're 90 degrees. Okay, so what are the ranges on this? You're gonna get about 1,100 feet out of the radius side of things, so you got 2,200 feet to work from, because you yep. normally set it in center and work for both directions. Yep, okay, and then as far as hitting the target? Hitting the target, what you're normally gonna be using is something like this, which we call a rod eye sensor. Yeah. It's got a visible laser beam, but outdoors it's really tough to see the laser. Yeah. It doesn't matter how bright or what color it is, they're hard to see outside. So this acts as your eyes. Photocells here will pick up the laser and they'll give you the relative elevation. And then it's got a remote control, I see. Absolutely. The remote control is designed to give you full functionality, so one person, even though you're not at the laser, allows you to have full functional control over the laser if you want to change the rotation speed, if you want to stop it, move the beam to a specific location, yeah. if you want to scan it. Everything can be done by the remote, which just fits in the pocket. Okay, well, you know, I was reading the back history of Leica, and you guys have been at this quite some time, but a lot of people are just coming into the laser market as far mm -hmm. as thinking maybe this is something they could use. So what's the learning curve on this? It's almost nothing. It's very simple. It's a uh, power on button here. You turn that on. It's self-leveling. Yeah. So you put it on a tripod, and even though you can be a little bit out of level, it'll automatically level itself up and start rotating. You're good to go. You got that flat plane of light, which automatically reverts to that every single time, self-leveling. Anything else you want to do from that? You got a simple keypad here and your full function remote. A lot of uh, you know, uh, rotating uh, lasers, what they'll do is they'll say, an alarm will go off, you gotta go back and reset it. This one is just gonna automatically do it for itself. Right, the self-leveling feature is designed so it sets up on a tripod yeah. and it gives you a full 10 degrees of range to level yeah. in its first instance. And then it sits there and it waits for 30 seconds and okay. it says, okay, nobody's bothered me, yep. so now I've gone into what's called an elevation alert mode. Yep. Okay, and that elevation alert allows you to still have self-leveling, but if somebody comes by and kicks the tripod a little sure. bit, if it was to sink and totally re-level, you may be at a different elevation. You don't want that. Right. So it'll shut itself off and tell you, it'll start beeping at you and say, you got to come back, set it back up, make sure your benchmark is correct. Okay, good to know. Again, the value of a manufacturer show-off. This is the sort of information you would get if you walked into a Leica dealership and had all the questions, but yep. it's the luxury of being online, right? Absolutely. Okay, so people watching the video are going, Barnaby, you made mention of the torture test. Let's yeah. talk about what sort of things you've done to kind of demonstrate how this stands up in the workplace. Well, you know, we put it through all kinds of actual testing, but one of the real things that you got to look at, these guys use it out in the field. They carry it around, they throw it in the back of the truck, they put it on the tripod, they bang it around. It's designed to take it. Right. Rugged. That's why we call it the rugby. Okay, what about water protection? Totally immersible in water. You know, you can take this thing, it has an international protection rating of an IP68, which mm -hmm. the 6 stands for is totally dustproof, the 8 stands for is totally waterproof, and you can submerge it. Okay, now you know people are going to think, well, I'm going to drop the dime on it. What's it going to cost? Cost on this, depending upon the accessories that you get, are going to be between $1,500 and 2000 
And this is the professional line. Uh -huh. We do offer lines that are a little bit on the lower side that do a little bit less. You, know, you can take something like this, which is just a one button unit. Yep. One button turns it on, gives you a flat plane, and that's in the $700 range. Okay, but it's not gonna give you the plum. It's, and it's not, not gonna, gonna give you the plum or the lay down. But when you're looking for just economical, you know, you've got that. This is gonna be the professional grade, the guy yeah. that wants to do something, a little bit of everything, horizontal, vertical, plumbing. Yeah, all right, so what's your thought on the uh, making back the cash on this? Because people invest in things thinking sure. the return on investment, I'm gonna be able to defray the cost over a certain period of time. What would it be in your mind? It all depends on the job itself the size of the job and how often you use it. Just like anything else, if you use it a lot, you're going to make more money with it. If yep. it sits on the shelf, then it's not going to do you any good. But somebody's going to buy this, and a lot of jobs, it pays for itself on a single job. Okay. You can imagine if you were just to pour, let's say, a quarter inch of concrete over an entire slab that was off, yep. the cost of that concrete is pretty expensive. Yeah. The cost of this in relationship, on an hourly basis, and then it next it really down to just a few bucks an hour. Okay, so beside uh, you know pouring um, foundations, who would this be suited for? It's for all types of general contractors, uh, where you, I'll say building construction. From concrete contractors putting in the formwork, to people putting in anchor bolts, yep. putting in steel columns, tilt-up panels, elevation control any place from floor to floor, plumbing it up. Yeah. So it's just an overall uh, versatile unit for just all types of construction. Okay, a thought comes to mind, one last question for you, and that is because it's called rugby and you're slamming it around and saying it's virtually bulletproof, you know, people are probably going to wonder, well, I mean, what's the warranty on this? What if something does go wrong? It goes on this, Leica has something that's called the Protect system. Yeah. And it's designed to do just that, protect the end user. It's a totally transferable warranty. It's a lifetime guarantee against workmanship defects and materials. Mm -hmm. Okay. With that comes a five year, what we call five year no cost period. Something goes wrong in that five years, but regardless of what it is, there's no cost on that. Mm -hmm. In addition, we have a two-year knockdown warranty. So even if you knock off the tripod or do what I'm doing here, yeah. kind of abuse it, the total internal system is automatically covered for the two years. Wow, a lot of good so information, man. behind it. Absolutely. Okay. Thanks so much, Barnaby. Thanks for all the good stuff, because that is what we're known for at toolselect.com. Real stats from real people to hopefully make it real easy to figure out which tool is right for you. Mm -hmm.